guys okay can we predict the stock price with the help of rnn so i'm going to show you a code about rnn today so today is the day 18 of the challenge of the 28 days what we are doing right now about data science ai and Jenny ai so it's me again mahesh having experience of 14 years in data as a data scientist data architect data engineer data trainer so i'm going to do a code today so before i do the code i'll do a very quick recap on what is rnn about so you have seen these slides if you want to go and do a very detailed one you can, do, you can see my previous day slides okay so i'll skip this so you need to know few basic stuff for example what is neural network what is activation layer what is optimization stuff okay so i'll skip this so i have created the video for everything so please go and look, look on to those videos uh, which i've created in the past okay so i'll just put forward a very quick understanding of the RNN. i hope everybody knows what is the problem of RNN. if you don't know take a pause and try to think about the problem of RNN. Anybody knows the program of RNN? The RNN is nothing but a reconnect network. Okay, so we have seen multiple kind of data set, for example, a relation data set, a image data set, but RNN is majorly used for something of sequential data set. Now, what is sequential data set? The best example would be the one which I'm going to do today in terms of stock prediction right the other one would be sentences or we can say language okay because in language also when we say something that right, it has a it has a sequence to that understanding because if you don't understand the sequence of the words that then you don't understand the language techniques what's happening same goes for stock market also when you think about stock market i will i will say the price of all the days the price of all the days plays a very important role on the uh, on the previous price right so previous day's price plays an important role on this day's price and the previous day price plays on a very important role on this day's price okay so make sure that you understand what is the sequence so if the uh, output depends on the sequence of the order of the data set then i will say you can go ahead and use rnn for these use cases very quickly i'll explain you what happens behind the box so technically rnn looks into the sequence of the past so this is the yes this data so i take um I, I put forward a network of that before i go ahead and give the output it gives the output to the today's data and then i will be able to predict what is going to happen tomorrow okay so this is this how it learns the pattern so i'll take a pause here if you don't understand anything you can put forward your queries in the comment happy to answer those now let's go to the code part of it okay previously so this this code is the rnn code so likewise i have technically what i have done is that i have divided the whole thing in different, different cells and i have put forward a title for every cell so that you guys can understand okay before i run the rnn code make sure that you change the runtime to tpu okay tpu has a very good binding with the tensorflow okay if you want to know more, more about tpu do let me know i'll have happy to share my views on tpu okay so before i run this code i have actually installed few of the libraries for example yp lines and tensorflow CPU. okay so i brought that data and then i have went ahead and run the libraries okay because before i run the libraries they, this installed this library install needs to be done that's why i've done that Okay, then I have actually extracted the data for Apple from 2020 to 2024. Okay, I've taken a very limited as a data Okay, I've converted the data, data into data frame, then I've taken ahead. Then what I have done, I have, uh, I have actually put forward a neural network for RNN. Okay, if you see, it, it takes one step back. Okay, time step is one. So it, it, technically, if you want to predict one, one day, it takes one step back and tries to take that input to influence the, yeah, the today's uh, output okay and beyond that everything is same uh, the only one more change is that the activation function is done okay if you want to know more about that please let me know in the comment i'll have to explain that okay the rest is same okay so if you if you don't know what is an output layer what is an input layer what is a layer you can go ahead and you can see my past videos to, to understand more about it okay then i have trained my data set here these are the all the box which is done and then what I have done is I have made sure that I'm able to evaluate them because at the end of the day it's very important that you go back and try to explain back to your stakeholders. Right? So I have put forward the evaluation of the of the model. If you if you look closely, I've also brought R square values. Okay. Because remember that 
when you shine to stakeholders always have two matrices with you okay it can be r square value it can be r and c score okay if you don't know what is matrix still do let me know i can explain you what exactly is matrix and why we have used r and c score r square value instead of accuracy and all okay then i went ahead and put forward a visualization for you if you see here the visualization has three three parameters okay original data training prediction and testing prediction so original data is put forward in terms of view then there is a orange data which is training and the green is nothing but the testing okay which looks very close to each other technically i would say so even though we have put, we have just taken one day's data as one of the little work steps plus for the sequence but still it, it it we can see that it represent very correctly it technically is predicting very nicely but this is not the right input when you share your stakeholders you have to be very very careful to share in basis of matrix so the matrix for the train i will see is 18830 what test i will see is 25280 so both the rmc is technically high is very very high and the same side when you see r square value r square value is negative minus 19 and minus 27 to 272 R square value should be between zero to one. When the R square value is negative, it in indicates that the model is not performing. It's performing very bad. So, as I was saying uh, previously, also RM has its own issues. Right? But to re- to to get to go ahead and understand better of these issues, we can do multiple other steps. We can actually work on. We can use. We can we can use this data and implement LSTM or GR GRU instead of. Simple R and code. Okay, you can you can put forward a high protein. You can do a few changes. There are multiple things which you can do to evaluate to enhance this code technically. Okay, but technically what I will do is that I will take a pause here. If you don't understand anything about the R and about, right? Like, please put forward in the comment and I'm happy to share. I'm keeping this simple so that I can explain you the complexity in the next videos. Okay, thank you guys. If you have reached till here, it means that you have finished the video. Thanks for watching and being part of the 28 data science challenge. Your support, engagement and enthusiasm make this journey even more exciting for me. If you found this valuable, drop a comment, share your insight and tag a friend who should join us. Let's keep learning, building and growing together in the AI engineer space. Make sure to like, subscribe and stay tuned for the next challenging stuff what is going to come tomorrow because we have just started and it's going to get better and better as we go. Bye.